So it wasn't only for heads of schools, we were doing a lot for educators, for students with some different needs, and also my, our first plan was to help students. And what they enjoyed most was sports. And we started having an inter-school sports program, which really helped them. And of course, a lot of work which they did uh, coincided with the IV gas work. And it, it was really a lovely feeling to have all the stakeholders of the school. My brother's, Sultan's my brother. So being a part of the, this function has been really, really very nice for me. I can just remember the two of us going to school, fighting all the way. And uh, he was the one who never used to be the one doing the homeworks, and I'm the one who always doing the work. So mom always thought that I'm going to be the one better, but then I know where he is now and where I am. I'm an educator myself. I teach for the IB. I'm the head of the department as well. And uh, looking at my brother, I can assure all of you here, and especially uh, the lady chairman here, that he's going to do a wonderful job, no doubt. Simpler so that they focus on the child rather than on the administrative duties. Compared to a man which probably is 40 minutes a day. Right? So the non-teaching staff in a school uh, need to also be equipped with the kind of resources, the learning and development that they need, and that's where I would also want to focus on. Apart from that, of course, is the students and the parents as well. So that's going to be the vision that we would want to go forward with. Our core principles very clearly mentioned there connect collaborate and create. One of the things that uh, you know, we don't seem to do really well, uh, I think Taisi has over a period of time tried to achieve that and walked in that path. Schools tend to be items of excellence, technology and education. Uh, thank you for being here. I think bringing those into a fantastic job, the great organizations, in fact, Maya is here uh, where technology can transform and the parents you know, ever knocking on the doors of the schools to understand what's happening. There could be a lot more visibility of what's happening. If I know where my Amazon parcel is now, you know, how much time it's going to take for it to come, you know, I at least have the right to figure out what my child is doing. But there's that certain... ...together in the morning. And she and I were one of the few people who were up early for breakfast, made it to breakfast. And we loved having our coffees together and breakfast together. And uh, Anu is an absolute uh, visionary. She's a revolution. She's, uh, you know, an amazing person in the area of education. And we've been on multiple trips together and multiple conferences. And I've learned so much from her. I've really learned a lot. I admire her. And I've worked closely with Taisi. We've been done, you know, done a couple of conferences together. She's also really helped me with my work in the area of child protection and really advocates for this cause as well. So child protection is something that now schools in India, I see in the past couple of years, are taking very seriously. Also the laws are quite stringent now. So I'm so happy to be working and I'm sure. So, um, where there is opportunity for um, strengthening relationships that we can kind of work collaboratively and move the needle on the education initiatives, um, I'm here to support all of you in terms of um, kind of getting the best out of the opportunities of BET but it's not just a transactional relationship. I haven't really come here with a speech ready to kind of say anything, so uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but uh, with the Anus family, because Gora is very also close to us, has worked in our school for very long. But coming back to TC, I think it has already accomplished so much. And I'm sure that even that Anu doesn't, she doesn't, know how much you have accomplished. Because it's much more than what you have been speaking or saying, you know. Just to give one example, she was very closely associated to the IB. And at that time, there was the, the president. She was a French lady, Monique Siegfried. And, uh, she had come to our school and she had seen certain way of what we was doing. You know, it was uh, in around 2009 or 2010, something like that. A small school alone cannot be... And uh, I don't think it wasn't for Anu and Sultan and 
the calls we've had, um, I would be here waking up early in the morning and uh, flying out late at night. I'm supposed to be retired by Indian standards, but um, yeah, here I am having just started my uh, new startup, uh, Dreamtime Learning. I'm very excited to work with you guys. My love affair with, with Anu is, uh, is uh, shorter than everybody else's, but pretty intense. I've, of, of course, admired and um, respected her um, and everything she's done in the industry, and I'm very happy to work with you, Anu, and uh, Sultan, in whatever we can do for India and um, learning and education. The future are at the Association of Indian Universities. I have travelled from Delhi uh, for this particular activity and uh, you know I thought that I won't be given a chance so I interrupted him. I'm um, really sorry for that. Uh, but uh, you know uh, uh, nowadays uh, there are a lot of lot happening at AIU. Uh, we all are very engaged but when I got a call from uh, Mrs. Monga uh, about this and I couldn't say no. So it is all the more important that uh, I want to express my gratitude to her. Uh, I got in touch with her uh, in 2000, uh, I believe, 9. Uh, I was working with J.B. Morgan Chase. Uh, I, from technology background, I moved to uh, kind of Thank you. Namaskara, Nanesru Sayak Sultan Ahmed I am the new incoming chairperson for TAISI. TAISI Andre, uh, the Association of International Schools of India. E organizational, uh, all the IB schools, International Baccalaureate, Matu, Cambridge schools, uh, other uh, heads of schools, the association. This is the first time that Madam Anu uh, Monga will start to 2005. This is the main purpose in Andre, international schools in India. That is the upskill, that is the teacher training. Training early, school quality standards early, other than uplift Madake, either organization start Agyodu. Iru Ipat Varsha, Iru Tumachana Kelsa Madidare, Yotinda Nano, I'm taking over as the new chairperson uh, and looking forward to uh, international collaborations, Matu, a lot of support for the international schools. Nam vision in Andre, the quality of uh, Indian schools is the uh, world class agide. Adar naam vyabaglu achen nodi aur tumma chen agide aatra naam nodi be. Nan vision in andre international level ali India should become an education leader. Adu nanu mata re diyo tu that uh, across the world yaav country ni bhokti ra ali nge Indian teachers sikter. Indians are recognized for being teachers but not as education leaders. Nan vision in andre taisi pravadinda na no we take the Indian quality of education and uh, across the world people should look up to Indian education. So that's my goal. So nam uh, taisi ali uh, we have around uh, 700 international schools in India. Adrally yard curriculum ide vandu international baccalaureate edu uh, Geneva based curriculum ido Europe based. In one do Cambridge curriculum, IGCSE and TV, Adu British curriculum. So popular again India Lero do Cambridge curriculum around five, six hundred schools and around one fifty, two hundred schools uh, do, uh, European curriculum. Uh, in future nan now we know that we are Australian curriculum, Canadian curriculum, Auru Bartare, India. Li. So uh, that's the popular one. Uh, so that Indian children go outside Alhogi uh, uh Shine yeah. Yeah, yeah. Started in Dicey started in 2005 and it was when I had gone to Sing uh, I had gone via Singapore to Perth to attend a conference and I saw very few Indian schools there. So on my way back I was waiting at the airport for eight hours to catch a flight to India and I said why don't we start something like this for our Indian educators and for me it was not only ed Indian educators but students because I feel we learn a lot from students and do something for students for teachers and for leadership I started with a 
founding members of eight and then it just increased and we went up to 250 people and it just went up and up and we were doing a lot of sports a lot of teacher training and a lot of people from overseas started coming to attend our conference my one thing was that sometimes it's very sad to see that our Indian teachers and our Indian leaders can do very well also but unfortunately they have paid half the price their salaries and I want to fight that thank you thank you